Hi, my name is Andy Props, and I'm the president of Park Place Property Management. And what I'd like to ask of you is just five minutes of your time today to show you why I think Brassy Cove uh, Fourplex Community is one of the best uh, investments in Idaho right now, which is exclusively managed by Park Place Property Management. As you can see, it's located right off, uh, right off the freeway, just seconds away from shopping, movies, uh, college, and Costco, Target, you name it, it's all right there. It's a great location in, in, uh, in Nampa, just probably 20 minutes from Boise. It's a great property with a ton of common area. Obviously, you can see there's a pool, a tot lot, um, a great clubhouse for, for this community, an office, and upgraded gym equipment for our tenants. Great living spaces, upgraded countertops, kitchens, um, all the way throughout. As you can see, it's a great project, very well built. And what I'd like to do is just take two minutes of your time, of my five minutes, and show you this video. And we're going to go into this property. we got to make sure we take off our shoes before we go in because it's brand new. All these are brand new with upgraded carpets um, and appliances, etc. So you can come in. You can see it's got a good size living area, nice and bright, plenty of room. And as we move closer here to the kitchen, you can see we've got upgraded appliances, uh, cabinets, countertops, hardwood floors, and uh, a washer and dryer included, a nice brand new Kenmore Good size uh, dining area, uh, hardwood floors, upgraded lights. And again, all these units come uh, completely uh, with all, all new appliances and a washer and dryer for the tenants, which obviously they like. All these units rent for $695, or sorry, $675. Upgraded countertops, the two inch thick granite. And I love those, uh, those dark cabinets and so do, so do the renters. So in here to the master's, to master bedroom, you have the double closet doors and um, plenty of room for a king size bed or, or whatever in there. And you can see me right here as I walk in. Hello. Walking in, you can see good size bathroom. Again, granite countertops in the bathroom. I don't think there's any other rentals that I know of in town that have that. So that's very, very nice feature. And then we'll slip back over. Another great feature about this particular layout is the uh, is the split level so it's great for roommates situation for uh, if you have fam uh, mom and dad on one side kid on the other side uh, it's it's great for that you know again we have the upgraded floors and the upgraded countertops the dark the dark uh, cabinets and ADA compliant bathrooms which just really look nice and then the second bedroom is about the same size um, as the the master bedroom the closets a little smaller. But again, as you can see, it's, it's a great opportunity for a roommate or a, a, a small family, um, any, any of those type of situations. So great, great property all the way around. So let's keep going. So now that you un you've seen the property, you, you know a little bit about that. When I'm looking into buying property, I ask four questions, supply, demand, price, and growth. And then the big question is, is does Boise or the Treasure Valley have what it takes to be brewing up the perfect storm of, of, of good real estate right now? So let's look at supply right now. It's, it's low uh, on the multifamily side and on the single family side. Uh, you can see that uh, in 2011, things not, not a lot of new stuff going on. Uh, permits pulled are next to nothing. Two, last, two in 2010, we had a little bit more last year, uh, but I don't have the new numbers yet. So demand, this is the, the most recent survey. So you can see multifamily vacancies in the Treasure Valley right now on this particular survey is 2.2%, two, 2.5% 2 2 on the single family side. And on the right, you can see a, a, a steady decline of vacancy over the last six years. Currently, we have 80 Brassy Cove units that are 100% rented. And uh, previous units have been sold, uh, have been sold, have been pre-leased, which is really cool. You, you start off just cash flowing from the beginning. And currently, we have a waiting list to move in. So as far as price, discounts, and rents, I think price were cheap. Discounts are big and rents are up. So big question is, would you rather pay full price for an item? Um, or buy it at a discount. Obviously, if you take income divided by rate or ERV formula uh, equals value, you take the net income, you divide it by the cap rate, and you have the value of 280. Purchase price right now is 260, so you get a total discount of $20,000. Land discounts for the builder, obviously they're big. Uh, th this particular builder bought these, these, these lots uh, with all the utilities, the streets, the sidewalks already in there at a big discount, and they're passing that on to you, and that's why these, th these things cash flow so well right out of the gate. And then we have national rent increase on the local level. We're having rent increases, all good things. Growing, uh, you betcha. 
Boise was the number two one-way destination in 2010 for U-Haul, fifth largest or fifth highest population growth in the U.S., fourth fastest GDP. Uh, where did they come from and where are they going? We ran a lot of people to a lot of people here at Park Place. A lot of people coming in from out of state, not a lot of people leaving. Uh, strong growth over the next five years, you can see an economist has predicted that uh, job growth is going to outperform the national average over the next five years. So perfect storm, I think so. So let's get down to the nitty gritty. This is the nitty gritty dirt band. And my mom always said, if you have to explain the joke, it's not funny. So I apologize. Purchase price, just purchase price is 260. Down payment 65, interest rates four and a half. APY 4.71, according to source mortgage, mortgage as of yesterday. Mortgage payments, 988. All other expenses associated with that property are estimated at 936. A net monthly income to you of 776 for one, one fourplex. It's pretty darn good. So let's look at the finer details of this particular project. I use this form, uh, you know, approved by the Institute of Real Estate Management to calculate all the returns on all my investments. So if you look at the loan amount, the interest rate, and then uh, the purchase price and your current equity, and over here on the right, we have your annual debt service, your loan to value ratio, your free and clear rate of return or cap rate. And then here on the bottom, the going out capitalization rate, we want a 7% return over five and 10 years. Let's see what those look like. So here's your performance statement, which is a macro connected to that previous uh, uh, spreadsheet. You have your rent and then your NOI. Your rent on the top, your NOI on the bottom, and all the expenses that are typically associated with this particular property. And the four tests of real estate investment that I look for are cash on cash, enhanced value, net present value, and IRR. Cash on cash outperforms the average by far at 12%, and IRR is way better than average at 32.55%. So it passes all four, it goes four for four on the real estate test of a good investment, uh, which, is, uh, which is really good, two thumbs up. So give me a call at Park Place so we can talk about it more. You can reach me at 208-377-3227. And don't forget, uh, forward this to your friends and uh, we can help them get a couple too so let's dance this out no one told you that was no